We're here with Ernesto Verdugo. He is founder and speaker for um, Speak Internationally events, and he's going to be talking to us about a little bit what he does and how that relates to the HR Congress here in India. So take it away, please. Yeah, sure. Hi, um, Kirsten. Nice to be here. Thank you for having me. Well, what I do is I help mainly uh, speakers get hired. Whenever, I mean, right now, there's a ton of people that would like to get into stages. They take uh, speaker trainings, yet they do not get uh, business. And that is basically what I do. I help them get opportunities. Now, if you want to see it from the HR point of view, what is what I am actually doing here? I am also a speaker and I talk about trends. I like predicting the future. The future is actually pretty easy to predict. Other than predicting my future. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. But um, what is the HR trend that you've seen now compared to say 10 years ago? Oh, there's a big change. Mm -hmm. Right now, the Generation C, which is the, uh, the kids, they are incredibly techni technically savvy. The uh, average age of the internet millionaire is between 6 and 14 years old. So I would like to find out how a company is going to start attracting employees to pay them a couple of thousand dollars per month mm -hmm. if these kids at this age can make a few thousands per week using YouTube. Based on the internet. How are you going to, how are you going to attract new, custom, new employees to your company if your company is obsolete in the way they think and in the way that they present opportunities to work. So what you're saying, the biggest challenge facing HR professionals today is adapting to the new generation and to offer them what they want. Because necessarily, I've been talking to some people, and money isn't the only driving force with the new generation. It's time off, it's vacation time, it's ben not necessarily benefits is what we're used to. Yeah, the biggest challenge, the biggest challenge more than anything is uh, cross-generational understanding. Mm -hmm. Right now, there's the biggest generational gap in the world, in history, has, uh, has, is now existing. Previously, we used to say, well, you know, you have to respect your elders. Right now, you have to respect your juniors. And most people have a, find a, difficult, uh, a difficulty with that. Right now, uh, you know, somebody which is uh, 50, 55 years old and is a CEO, finds it very challenging to have a uh, 20 year old and 19 year old telling them well this is the way that we have to start doing things okay. it's a matter of pride it's a matter of reverse mentoring and only the uh, people that actually see the power of reverse mentoring are going to be the ones which are going to make it to the future there's going to be and i can predict very easily that uh, a lot of companies are going to become obsolete in the next uh, three to four years because of not understanding the way of thinking of the new generations. So approaching these companies, um, with that in mind, what would be your suggestion, uh, your maybe first three steps on how they can adapt? Yeah, well, first of all, com communication-wise. <clears throat> Every generation has a different habitat, digital habitat, that is. See, for example, I mean, if you are a baby boomer, most of the baby boomers communicate with uh, their first choice of communication is email. Then they will possibly use uh, SMS. Then they would like using the telephone. Uh, the telephone for them is also big. They like to, I mean, I, I don't like getting telephone calls. I prefer they text me. <laughs> or they a bill collector. <laughs> exactly. Well, I, mean, I just don't like those yeah. kind of things. And, uh, but for them it's very important. Mm -hmm. And then the very last one is going to be Facebook or it's going to be any of those platforms. I mean, at the end they are already in Facebook, but right now Facebook is already a very old platform for the, for the, newer, for the newer generation. Yeah. If we go for Generation X, which is our generation, we will be more into WhatsApp. I mean, WhatsApp for me is now my mode of communication. Mm -hmm. We will possibly use a little bit of Facebook, we will possibly use Inst uh, Instagram, not that much, yeah. a little bit. And, uh, but our last preferred method of communication is email. We have to use it because, of course, the other people are encouraging us to use it. But if yeah. it will be up to us, we will not be using email. It's just like, oh my God, I mean, this is so 1999. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, if we go to the uh, millennials, the millennials, they're called uh, uh, the Instagram generation. Those are all the time taking selfies, and that's how they communicate. They're also very much into WhatsApp. And uh, they're also, you know, they, they use very seldom email and the telephone, but the most, the most important ways for them to communicate are going to be Instagram and 
uh, Instagram and um, um, WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. But now if you go to the newer generation, Generation C, this is weird. First of all, they're going to be using platforms that you possibly have never heard of. Like, like today. <laughs> this platform exactly. that you gave me, you didn't give me a business card today. <laughs> he gave me something called, what was it called? Yeah, it's a Shorebee. Shorebee. It has yeah. all your information Correct. in one click. Correct. If you actually, you can see it in Ernesto.today. Yeah. You can just see the, the platform, how it all works. But anyway, that's another topic. I was just telling you about uh, the generation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That exactly, that's yeah. exactly. Uh, you can connect with everything. Me. In everything one is there spot in one there. spot for every generation. Absolutely, for every I generation. Agree. But for example, right now, if I want to, if I want to communicate with twelve-year-olds, thirteen-year-olds, fourteen-year-olds, mm -hmm. the first one is going to be TikTok. TikTok was the most important pla uh, uh, platform downloaded last year. Yeah. And uh, then they're going to be using Discord, or they're going to be using Kick, or they're going to be using. Uh, all sorts of different uh, platforms that we have never heard of. House, uh, uh, house party. We have never heard of those things. Yeah. But if we want to communicate with those, we have to understand that they're using different platforms. So the first way that you have to, to do it is you have to communicate in the, in the habitat that that person is. That's the, first, uh, that's the first thing. Second, you need to understand that you need to see the world from the point of view of every generation. I mean, if you're an older generation, you have to think, well, how would they see the world? Yeah. If you're a newer generation, it's how are they seeing the world? And that the third very important uh, way to, to understand is that uh, respect is two ways. It's not because I am your elder that you have to respect me. It's both have to respect each other because the, the information that we're having is very valuable to both of us. So are you training HR professionals to help bridge this way of thinking and how to maybe think cross-generationally because I know that's going to be yeah. very difficult. I'm talking to my, my younger cousins at uh, Christmas time and they're saying, uh, I don't care about dental but I want my vacation time, um, but I should be making you know, a top salary right out of university. So as an HR professional, how would you recommend them approaching this kind of thinking? Well, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's an, an interesting case that might be a little bit isolated. It's just, just possibly a, 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 a one thing, but what is, very, what, is more important, what is more important is creating awareness. Mm -hmm. And I definitely like creating awareness. When I present, in an organization or in, in a large event, mm -hmm. I have people really dropping their jaws. Why? Because I am addressing something that it's 100%, I mean, 100% clear for them, but they are not aware. So my, my job is creating the awareness. Now, what they hire me afterwards to do is to actually help them create those manuals or those, uh, you know, trainings or those, uh, steps in how they can actually have a much better uh, cross-generational communication. Great. Well, thanks so much. It's been really Thank interesting talking me, to you. Christine. We hope to invite you. you to CD when you're in Dubai, hopefully this week. I, I love that. I am in Dubai very often. Great. And uh, I, love, I love to be there. Definitely look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank and, you. And uh, a lot more to come from uh, the HRD World Congress here in Mumbai, India. Thanks.